Hello everybody, welcome back to the Polish map. So it has been a long time since the last episode, in fact the last thing we did on here was a stream. I did live stream it a couple of weeks ago. So this is the lettuce field, it was actually planted too early, but it doesn't seem to have caused too much of an issue. Although, there's only one thing concerning about it and that is it's not really grown that much and it's now autumn. Uh, you, you can luckily though harvest the lettuces until the beginning of winter so we do have a little bit of time to um, allow these to grow but if they don't grow fully before winter approaches or before winter gets here they are going to die. It will just wither so it is a bit of an issue and it's definitely nothing to do with being planted too early as such because well they've had all the time they need but it could be because of the germination temperature um, so, yes, it, it, it wasn't necessarily the time I planted them, it was more the temperature when I planted them. So, that is a big issue. Um, but I'm hoping they will be able to grow enough to be harvested at the beginning of winter, if not at the end of autumn. Okay then, so let's just put this over here. Pop it in the shed. Uh, we're actually going to be changing the combine harvesters today. Many viewers did point out in the previous stream, I think it was, that we do only have a small combine. The combine I'm going to replace it with is probably the same size, if not smaller. But it's just nothing we've used before. Uh, I've used the Dominator many times before. Also, I might get two uh, of the, the ones which we're getting next. Just one at the moment. I might get another one in a stream. So if this one is a 510, it's a 5.1 meter header. Uh, let's just check and see what the John Deere replacement is. Let's just see here. It is a 4.2. Okay, so it actually is smaller. Maybe then I should not sell the uh, class. Maybe I should keep both. Or maybe I could fit a bigger header. I wonder if that would fit my combine. 7.6 meters. It's not huge. I reckon that could work quite well. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's go and take this back over to the store. I will weigh up a few options and hopefully we can fit the bigger header to the small John Deere Combine Harvest, which I'm hoping to get. But yep, yeah, we're going to be harvesting the rye. That is the rye field just there. I think it is the first time I've ever harvested rye. So, something new. The first time I've actually done a bit of multi-fruit on this map. I have done multi-fruit before, but definitely nothing on here. I think Sandy Bay is going to have rye as a, as a crop type, which would be nice. And then I really do look forward to doing the uh, lettuces very soon. And we'll probably do something like triticale or something in the future. Maybe even something like alfalfa. That could be good. I think you mow alfalfa. Is that, is that the crop that you mow? I'm not too sure. What do I do? Driving the lettuces or going the ditch? I've chosen the ditch. And I almost regretted it. That could have gone so badly wrong. We have this field here which is the field that I started to mow in the last live stream. I think what I'm going to do is actually get rid of all the equipment which is in that field and plough it up. Because if we can do a different crop, come along, come through, come on. I can talk to them like that because they're not real people. <laughs> but yeah, I, I want to basically plough it up so we can replace it with something like um, alfalfa. I think that would be good. Good fun. Definitely something we could do in a stream as well. But this is a bit of a catching up episode. Usually I do Shamrock Valley on a Tuesday and Wednesday. But I just feel we're a little bit in front with that map and we're a little bit behind with this map. So it is time to take some time to get this one back on track. It isn't fully grown yet but that is my field and that is now far fulfilled. We had the drill going through the previous stream. It was busy working. I have noticed that it hadn't finished all of the field, but it has done most of it, so that should be good. Come on, C come on, you can get a bus through there. <laughs> Genius. Come on. Right, so we've just finished playing with the traffic. Oh no, another one wants to join in. Good, I got out just in time. So yeah, here we are, over the class dealership, returning the class Dominator. Personally, I would prefer to keep it, but it is going to be used in many future videos as well. So we can't really use this too much. I don't want to overuse it because it's a very nice machine, and it would be a shame to just, you know, use it 
to death. Uh, so here we go. Let's try something new. It's also extravagant. It's £111,000 resale value. I do seem to remember it was extremely expensive to buy in the first place, but that's going to be good because I wonder how much our new house is going to be. Hopefully nothing like that. It shouldn't be, although it is a John Deere, so you are paying for the name a bit. But anyway, 102. Wow, look at that. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to actually have this with no features, but I would like to have the big header in it. I know it is a risk. It's a big risk, but hopefully it's going to work with a bit of luck. It's almost £50,000 just for the header. Does it look too much for that machine? It kind of doesn't. It kind of doesn't. It's like it could support a header which is slightly bigger than the one that comes with it, but maybe not one quite as big as this. Although, until I actually get it in the field working, we're not going to properly find out if that is too much. It doesn't... I don't know. Maybe the grain tank is going to be the part of it that's really the struggle here. Um, but we'll stick it on a header trailer and we'll get it transported back over to the farm. Where are the header trailers? We'll go with John Deere branded. There we go. So we fin finish off with a new machine and a bigger header and less money than we started with but yes of course we do have a new machine and the difference is this is new out of the factory and the dominator is from well I think that one was probably from the 90s now do I put some cosplay or not? Oh, I can see the first issue there struggling to actually pick it up high enough uh, yeah I don't know I don't know if cosplay would be the best thing to do for this of course if it is on cosplay I can do the carting again it probably comes down to how quickly it's going to fill up and that is quite close. So no, I'm going to uh, play this safe. Look at that shine. So nice. It's definitely one aspect of FS19 which is just so much better than any other version. The lighting and the new material sort of reflections that we get. It looks good. Right, so we have a tractor here, which can actually tow this much better than the Combine, because obviously the Combine is not geared up towards having such a gigantic header on the back. So that should be fine now, hopefully. And obviously, if this doesn't work, then I could probably, because we are running Seasons, I could probably just return all of this and get all of our money back. I, I think in Seasons you do get sort of a period of time where you can return something for the same value as what you paid for it, so you're basically just trying it out. Full refund. Everybody loves to get a full refund if you're not happy with the product. Although, really, it's me at fault here. I've chosen, most likely, a machine which is too small for the farm. I just minimised the game to take a look at some pictures of alfalfa harvesting. It looks like you do do it with swathers or a mower. Um, basically, anything which can cut it and put it into a swath. Seems like that is the way to do it. So, that is hopefully what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'm hoping to do fill and break, I think it is, and we will try and get this field up here converted to an alfalfa field. It would be good. Obviously we'll have a bit of a crop rotation as well, so it won't always be alfalfa, but I just feel we don't need quite so much grass. I have some grass around the farmyard and that is plenty. We don't need anything else. It's just I do way too much grass work in FS19, so um, it is time to focus on the multi-fruit. And yeah, I need to clear that field up. We have two machines in there which shouldn't be in there is it still following? it is good okay so I think probably I will put this just onto uh, cosplay to begin with no, is there a car? oh good it's a one way it is a one way road it means we can't crash into anybody although I will probably still find a way to do that right then so here we are this is our field, it's a lovely rye field so I'm just going to get things all set up and ready to go We've got a roadblock just to get the header on. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to lift it up. Oh, that is up. Okay, let's get that going. Where to put the tractor? Uh, there is a car on the way and they just come and crash into you, so I think I would just dispose of it. Well, I'd love to leave it here. It would be amusing, but it's just going to create a ridiculous tailback, so we'll just put it over here, just in this neighbouring yard. Hopefully they don't mind too much. There's pedestrians in there. People. Workers. Being productive. You you just walked over there and then walked back. Hello? Are you lost? 
I will take it as a yes, considering you've just walked back the other way. Ah, the first man is back. Do you need directions to your warehouse? Ah, you're going round as well. What fun. <laughs> Seriously though, it is good. I absolutely love when mappers put things like that in. Just It just adds so much to a map. It just brings it alive. It turns it from a map which isn't necessarily dead, but you know, isn't very well animated, um, to something which makes you just feel like you're not the only person in the map. It's just, it's just good. Very good. So have I made a mistake here? Let's find out. Really, I think it comes down to how quickly it unloads. Are we moving? Okay. I think it's taken all the power out of it and it won't move. Oh dear. That is extreme. It actually has done. My foot is to the floor. If I disengage the header, we fly forwards. Okay. Well, I'm just going to sort things out. Okay, well, yep, I've recognised my mistake. We will probably get two of these John Deere's instead of one Dominator. The good news is, though, you can indeed re return it for the same price as what you paid for it. Uh, I could even return the Combine Harvester, but I, I don't want to. I want to keep it. So, um, yeah, now I've got the fun of bringing another header over. Right, so we can finally actually get things going here. So, yeah, as I said before, it's going to be a course play thing because it's just going to be so much easier for when it comes to karting. So we'll generate the course. It's for number 25. Let's just see if that's going to be on the list. Should be. There we go. Uh, headland will go around three times. It's not a very big header. Do we have any obstacles in the field? I don't think we do. Um, but in case we do, I don't know. There we go. We'll generate the course and see what it looks like. Well, it looks simple enough. Let's get it going. Uh, so I need to figure out the best way of carting this to a cell point. Obviously a trailer, but which one? Uh, I think we'll keep it on uh, swath mode. It could be useful. One hour and five minutes to harvest this one field. Okay, well, we'll save that. Just call it harvest. Because, yeah, that's quite a big job. And that is not taking into account turning around and unloading. But hopefully the unloading will be on the move. Very good. So, yeah, I think, really, uh, what I should be doing is carting with a relatively big trailer. Because I think Rye is going to produce quite a bit. We've got the Ursus here. We'll head back over to the store very quickly, and I'll pick up a suitable trailer. But, yeah, uh, the price really doesn't matter too much. We have quite a bit of money, and really, an £86,000 trailer, if I wanted to spend that much, is going to be way too big. So, we can pretty much choose anything. I'm thinking probably something like a Bailey trailer. That could be good. I'd quite like a Bailey trailer. So we do have Bailey trailers. We also have the very nice OptiLiner, which I... Personally, think it's very good, uh, a very nice mod. So we could go relatively small. Uh, we could go for the extension, which is more for silage. We've got the arch, which is for grain. Uh, yeah, I think the arch should be good. Everything else should be uh, relatively standard. I <laughs> love the UK number plate. Of course, this is by Euro Modding. Um, so it is basically a UK trailer, but it doesn't really matter too much. So that's twenty-one thousand pounds. Not bad at all. If this tractor does struggle with it, which it might do because it is actually quite a big trailer, then we do have the John Deere. Okay, so the combine's fault, which doesn't surprise me. Yes, it looks a bit too uh, big for the tractor. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here just to annoy the traffic. It'll be good fun. Um, <laughs> and we'll go and grab the John Deere. And we're going to put onto there. The John Deere definitely won't be too small. I can imagine the traffic just pushing it out of the way. If I come back to that in a second, I bet it's being pushed into the ditch or something. Ooh, it looks like they've actually waited behind it. How good of them. They've decided not to crash today. This is a good tractor. It really is good. Powerful. Beefy. Good looking, I suppose. Interesting front grill. I do like the front grill. The way it's got these extra lights and stuff. Yeah, not a bad tractor at all. Okay, so yeah, that looks fine. That looks very good on there. The combine didn't get very far before it was for. I can't remember. If, oh yeah, I think I did. I think this was fertilised because of the 
bonus for crop rotation or something, I can't remember. But yes, it was fully fertilised. Because I was going to spray it, but I didn't need to. That is why it is so good. And that is why it's going to take much longer than one hour to harvest it. So we'll probably finish it in a live stream. Um, we might just, you know, do a bit today and then move on tomorrow and do the uh, alfalfa. What is it doing though? That's weird. I suppose it's detected a tree as an obstacle. That's a guess. But look, we have rye. We have rye going to the trailer for the first time. It is good to have a different crop. Wait, did it actually back up and then harvest this piece to give me space to pull alongside? That is so intelligent if that's the case. Because it's continued on the first headland. That is quite impressive. Okay, so that's 19%, so it looks like we can get five combine loads approximately into each trailer load, which is actually very good. We definitely have quite a green theme going on here. Yeah, I probably shouldn't sit quite so close because of the dust going to the front grill. Clogging up the filters and the radiator and stuff. Who left that shrub there? There is a shrub growing right into the middle of the field. And when I say middle, don't take it literally. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just um, unload the first, the first few. Stick it on time for a second, and then we'll uh, go and sell the first load. This is the interesting cutout. It's the grass where I cut and created those few silage bells. I suppose if we really wanted to, we could take these trees down and extend the field across here. It must be getting full. Ah, right on cue. The beacons are on. Yeah, when you think about it again, it would have been silly having the other header. The auger would have been nowhere near long enough. It's a decent combine though. It's doing a good job. And we know that when we get to about 38% full, the combine will be empty, 37. It's a very fast unloader, actually. Okay, time-lapse time. We can fit one more load into here, so I think the best thing to do is to check the current price for Ryan and just see if it's actually worth taking it to a sell point. If it isn't, we do have a silo in the yard. Uh, okay, so the price is increasing. I don't really know what a good price is for, for Rye, but it seems like we should wait until Agravis uh, has got an even better price because, well, it's on the increase, so... Uh, it would be easier as well for me just to go and tip in that silo over there. Otherwise it's going to be quite a long time between me leaving the field and coming back. Unless, of course, it's a neighbouring place. Let's just see where Agrivis is. Ah, oh, it's up here. Okay, so it's not too far, but it's still going to be a little while. Uh, the combine is definitely going to be sat there full with its auger out for probably four or five minutes. So we'll tip it in the yard and then we can probably get a bulker or something to pick it up from there. But I like this, I really do like using the uh, maps which have got multi-fruit. Because, well, you've heard me complain so many times about farming simulator not having enough crop types and, well, these multi-fruit maps 
are a very good solution. But they're not an excuse, that's for sure. Very hard work has been put in by the modders to uh, create these. Okay, so it is at 80% once again. Let's get that unloaded. And this is the final headland as well. Now you might actually notice that the frame rate on this map is not as high as the other maps that I do. It's a very intensive map to run because it is so detailed, it's got so many trees. Uh, it doesn't bother me too much that it is decreasing the frame rate a little bit, but you know, some people who uh, like to be perfectly smooth might have a little issue with it, but yeah, I, I haven't got any problems at all. Okay, so that trailer is definitely almost full. Get a bit more in the back. There we go. So yeah, 93%. There is still space for a little bit more. Um, but it's just going to become so much easier when the headlands have been completed. It always is. On this straight here I get the final 5% out of the combine harvester into the trailer and then we can very easily just head over there and get it put into the silo. There we go. Now I do apologise for not doing this map more often. I really do love this map. It's just finding the time to do everything. It's quite difficult. I know I have set myself quite a task here to have pretty much five series going at the same time. But I like to do it that way because you can just really diversify quite a bit. Okay. Problem there. <laughs> right, it's not accepted. It must be base game crops only. In that case, we are going to have to quickly rush over to the cell point. Uh, where is aggro effect? Because that is currently the same price. Oh, that's miles away. Okay, so we're, we're definitely going to uh, aggro this. Which is somewhere up here. Wasn't it? I didn't tag it for some reason. Okay, so how do we get to there? Do we go out of here? Main road, turn left, straight up there. Okay, so it's a relatively simple journey. There is my dog. My dog is busy being as unproductive as ever. Its life consists of sitting in the yard doing absolutely nothing. That combine is going to be waiting for me for some time. But at least we do have John Deere. This is quite a fast tractor. Maybe we should have a fast track because they're very fast. And hopefully we don't come across too much traffic two cars so far and they never pull over ever they never pull over okay fully loaded tractor but they don't care no are you all coming down here really all of you unbelievable Basically all the traffic enters this road, just as I get to the end. Onto the open road. Nice. We have our own lane. So now we can really appreciate this area of the map as well. The problem is, um, this map is so big, and I only have a few of the fields, that we're never really going to be able to experience all of it, which is a shame. Uh, let's just take a look here. You can see there's just massive areas. Maybe I should have done a map tour. I don't think I did a map tour. But this is my sell point, so we can get some money straight back in again. You can probably get a silo um, which supports multi fruit, I'm not too sure. Just as long as it can be sold here. Good. Okay, so uh, how much do you think? I'm thinking £15,000 or something like that. I'm not, I really don't know what it's worth. 15, 20,000. 14, 150. Okay. Uh, not bad, because there's going to be so many loads of this. And I can't remember what I worked out uh, the best crop to be, but I think there was something which was like 1,500. Oh, yeah, hops. They're pretty good. Uh, poppies are good as well. We've got lettuces. They're, they're not the best, but... Um, Yes, I mustn't mix up the cabbages and lettuces. They look similar. 
but they're a very different thing. The combine's full and I'm stuck behind a snail. Unbelievable. <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, I can't overtake. Please go straight on. I don't think traffic goes straight on. Right, you can see the field there, making a good impact. It's started to go up and down the field, which is good. Uh, so we will just get unloaded, allow it to resume, and we'll see how many uh, minutes it thinks it's going to take until the field is finished. Honestly, I can't even guess, but I, I would attempt at guessing at like 40 minutes, 50 minutes left. All good. The aura is on the correct side. Always good when it's like that. Ugh. Although, <laughs> it's good for thumbnail producing. No, don't drive off. Okay. Just see. Uh, 42 minutes remaining. Not bad at all. Right, so this is going to be the perfect job to complete in a live stream. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to start working in the alfalfa field with a bit of luck, uh, providing I know exactly how to do it. But as you can see, the majority has been planted, but the worker did get a bit confused or just took too long doing these tiny pieces. Uh, the field itself has grown well, very well. This is it, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, very nicely detailed. Just, ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, that's better. That looked painful. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.